Hello and welcome to the Daily Dan blog. Greetings from South Carolina. I'm at the beautiful Anderson Jockey Lot today, which I can't believe is fully opened once more. This virus thing has had the whole world shut down. But here today, we are reopening. I'm gonna take a quick little trip across the road. I'm gonna go into the Anderson Jockey Lot. Join me, will you? Hey, the guy slowed down and let me across. Was it that special? I'm entering the Anderson Jockey Lot for the first segment, part one, of my Anderson Jockey Lot experience. I hope everybody on YouTube really enjoys this little trip. I'm going to start out. Look at these great bikes right here. The motorcycle guys are in town. And if I make fun of a few people, please forgive me. Okay, part one. We're beginning at the Anderson Jockey Lot. We're going to take a look at some of the items today that people sell at the Anderson Jockey Lot. This fellow seems to have the great sock collection going on. Okay, let's go across the aisle and have another look. I see some DVDs, some video games. Most awesome. What I'm in search of today, though, would be rare, rare comic books. That's my thing. What? The view is always best from the back. That's what they say. Usually right here in this spot, I'll find a toy guy, but he seems not to be here this week. He must have moved across to the other side. Let's check him out. Okay, moving right along. All right, here's a good aisle to check out. See all the wonderful items you can get at the... Wow, look at this. That's a Dan hat if ever I saw one. They cost five bucks. Huh. I'm almost tempted to buy that hat. Moving right along. This guy is the toy man. He seems to have a lot of toys. Hmm. What? Randy Orton? And John Zena, very interesting. Moving right along. What a selection of sunglasses this fella has. Whenever you visit the Anderson Jockey Lot, I recommend you come by. I film you? Can I film you for YouTube? Ah, uh, no, I really do. Oh, well, I suggest you go to the first aisle and look through here. You will find this guy has a lot of stuff. Apparently, people don't like to be on camera over here. That's probably because they're probably stealing a bunch of stolen stuff. Oh, well. Moving right along. Another great table over here at the Anderson Jockey Lot today, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube stream. I suggest you check these people out because they seem to have great deals on everything. That's right. We were, oh, look at this guy. We got Star Wars toys. If you're a Star Wars collectible guy, I think this is the place you need to be. I see lots of great stuff here on this table. And like I said, when you come to the Anderson Jockey Lot, you're right on the main highway. Take the first aisle up if you want to get a hold of some of this stuff right now. If you're watching me today, she'll probably be out here to 5 o'clock or something. Um, I used to stay around 3. Around 3, so if y'all want to get out. I'm doing a YouTube screen. Right. If you all want to get out and get these great deals, you need to come on and get them right now. Especially you Star Wars guys. I get a lot of comments about Star Wars collectibles. Okay. Yeah, she, she, seems to, she seems to really have a lot of them. Moving right along. I want to check out this table because I love hats. As you know, you always catch me wearing a hat. So you find me looking for good hat deals. And this seems to be the place to come if you're wanting a hat, ladies and gentlemen. This is the place. Don't forget, it's the first style up when you enter the Anderson Jockey Lot. Oh, wow, we have appliances, too. You might want to come out here on that first style at the Anderson Jockey Lot. And, and, and visit this fella, because he seems to have quite a good deal on appliances going on. 
his affordable appliance of Anderson, and this is the place you need to check out if you're in the mood or looking for that great. Hey, they buy your old broken ones too. Right? You got some junk? This might be the place to come dump it, right? I guess they refurbish some of this stuff. All right, well, I'm going to end right here on part one. Be sure to join me for part two of my adventures and exploration of the Anderson Jockey Lot. This is Danny Staten for the Daily Dan blog, and we'll be back with part two very shortly.